I finished maneuvering, and I pulled. I started to pull my cart towards the, the chair where I was going to sit because I wasn't sitting yet. There's nowhere I, where I could sit with, but where I was before. But the bus driver did not even wait or speak to me whatsoever. Uh, am I reading or anything like that? And so I just drug it up there, and the bus took, and the, and the driver took off. Nobody said thank you to me. Nobody did anything like that. The guy just pulled in. They're all they're all in sync on their own own little turf, their own little their own little cause. They're on their own their own. They're all on the same side. They're all servants of the devil, Satan. They all have the ability to cure another's thoughts. They're all on the same team, and they know that I'm the enemy. They are. I am their enemy, and I am their enemy because I'm a human being, and because I'm I'm a, I'm a Christian. Some of them can see in the spirit realm, and they know that I have the Holy Spirit, and I'm the enemy. And this is how they treated me. Now, me, I know that they can hear my thoughts, and so uh, you know I, I carry on uh, a discussion with them as I as I please, and I, I can sit there and preach the gospel or whatever I want to do, and so uh, that's that's pretty much what happened there. Uh, this type of thing, this discrimination happens every day. It's not just once; it's it, it's a few times a day. It happens every single day, uh, especially if I if I preach the gospel. If I preach the gospel in some place, now, for example, if you go into a fast food restaurant or a bus, a public bus, and you're sitting there and you're on a smartphone and you're talking, making a phone call, this is a, this is pretty common. Or you're just sitting there talking to somebody. Most of the people there are talking loud. Most of them that speak are speaking loud. I don't speak loud. Uh, I speak quieter than I do on this phone because I'm I'm trying to talk over the noises here and hear myself speak. And so, uh, when I when I go to a, a fast food restaurant, for example, and I preach the gospel, and I preach the gospel in a quiet tone, I, and I do so without the without the idea of making everybody hear it, I, I preach the gospel knowing that they can hear my thoughts while I'm preaching. Anyway, they're already hearing it all the way in the back of the kitchen. It doesn't make any difference where they are. They could be outside the door smoking a cigarette; they can still hear me preaching the gospel and so I don't go out of my way to preach the gospel loud and unless I'm in a big group where I actually suspect there might be somebody there who is a human being and I might make contact with someone I don't even think that at all when I get on these buses or in a fast food restaurant uh, because I've seen the crowd I've seen I've seen this I've seen this town this area where, that, where I'm out right now I, I did it last year and I didn't find anybody except for one young woman in a fast food restaurant uh, she 